Today's topic, the folding knife as a combat knife. <clears throat> it's pros and cons, so, <clears throat> excuse me. The biggest problem with the, well, several problems with the folding knife is one, the length of the blade, and two, the mechanism. The mechanism is, you know, not solid like a fixed blade knife would be, uh, so there's that issue. Uh, I remember years ago, I had a heavy bag that was outside, and it had been in the rain, and a heavy bag, anyways, as it is, as it gets down to the bottom, it gets pretty compact and hard, but this one, having gotten wet and dried over the years, was really hard at the bottom. But you could stab the bag, and when you stab, the first few times I've stabbed it, I did a fixed blade knife, double edge, boy, I put a big glove on my hand. Even with the cross guard, I wasn't so sure was my hand going to run up and slice my hand open. It wasn't easy to stab that bag. You couldn't this. I mean, you had to you know, drive that thing in there. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I, you know, I didn't, wouldn't trust it with something like this. I bet you I could snap and break that, but and maybe it would have. Maybe it would have just penetrated just fine. But, boy, I didn't have the confidence that my hand would not slide up on the end of this. So <clears throat> stabbing into something might be a, a little tougher than you think. And I must admit, I've never stabbed a person, but uh, so met many people have. And actually, they had quite a few things to say about that. But, uh, you know, with that folding knife, you know, the mechanism could break, and then the length. So the length of the blade, really for a good fighting knife, is probably seven inches or something like that, something that could get to the heart effectively and but let's say your blade was three inches and under I would stay in the neck and above with that and maybe in another video at or another time I could go into more detail uh, about how I would use that uh, up above the neck and the neck and above I think some of it's pretty obvious I mean we've got eye holes we got ear holes look at all the holes into the brain nostrils the neck carotid arteries could be ripped open you could certainly wreak havoc with somebody with a smaller blade, maybe like a five inch blade or something. I might definitely perhaps start going to the body and uh, depend on, is it winter? Does he have a coat on? How much fat is on the person's body where I'm stabbing? All these kind of things come into play. You know, the other thing too uh, with a folding knife, it would be true of a fixed blade knife, and it's the same with a firearm. I've got to access it and that takes time. So if things are happening quickly, there's not going to be time to get this right away, but certainly you could use your unarmed combat to get yourself into position where you can get to the knife. As you can see, as I went there, I wasn't very fast. It, was like, it took me forever to open that blade, but you get the point. It's going to take time, and you can't be reliant on that weapon. You know the number one way I love to use a folder, and this one fits my hand perfectly as a Yawara as an impact weapon. And let me tell you what, this thing right here would be absolutely deadly into somebody's temple. It would knock their teeth out. I mean, smashing with this thing, I want to hit something solid like wood. I don't have it in here. And you would see how hard this would hit. So notice with it in my hand this way and the fact that it's short and it's plenty long enough, by the way, uh, you see here, boy, it doesn't stick way out like this. You wouldn't want it to. If it did, it gets all squirrely on you, but um, I'm going to hit onto those little uh, cabinet over there. So you can see with this side, uh, there's plenty there. Let's say the thing stuck out of my hand was only that much. Again, not quite enough. So I'm being honest with you. All right, it needed a little more, didn't it? Boy, there it is there. So I don't think the thing has to protrude. So if they were longer, there are some other variety of strikes that could be done. But boy, here your hammer fists and the reverse chop. So you could start by just adding this to an attack combination. Chop, punch, knee, doubles over, smash the back of the head. I want to repeat again. This would be deadly force. You drive this thing into the back of somebody's head, you could absolutely kill them. And then you would have the option afterwards to open that blade up and use it as a blade. But uh, the techniques are endless that you could do. 
It's not a special separate system either. Uh, let's say I had it in my hand for whatever reason. This really doesn't make a lot of sense, but and I was being choked because if I had this in my hand, I'd be aware. I never let the guy get in there to choke. I attack him first, but you broke the choke hold, and now the thing is in your hand, ready to fight and ready to go. And like I said, just use it in the normal way that uh, you would use hammer fists in your attack. So a sidekick double hand axe becomes a sidekick hand axe hammer fist with the backside, and on and on it goes. So to me, that's the real virtue of the folk.